From radio to robots, and we're joined now by Dr. Nicholas Mavridis and his creation, Ibn Sina, the Arabic-speaking robot. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Hang on. And so, which one's which? <laughs> <laughs> He's it's so real, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, very, very impressive, Doctor. And, and we know he has a name, Ibn Sina. So where did you come up with the name? It's a very big pleasure to be here, first of all, and to be showing this uh, robot to the audience of uh, Studio One. So Ibn Sina, for many people uh, that might have heard about him, has actually two names. There's an Eastern version of the name, which is Ibn Sina, and there's a Western version, which is Avicenna. And he was one of the most important uh, polymaths and philosophers of the wider region of the Emirates. So pretty much somebody like the uh, Leonardo of the East, if you want. Ah. Uh, obviously, um, we're going to be hearing from him a little later on, but is that what Ibn Sina looked like? Uh, did historical record show us When that? we decided to actually give the name of uh, a historical character to the yeah. robot, then uh, we went down and we did some research to see uh, how did Ibn Sina look like. And there's a s number of pieces of evidence. There's a number of miniatures, there's paintings. There's even actually a reconstruction of his face on the basis of skull data. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the things that we used as a source for what you see over here. So it's yeah. not an actual uh, uh, total reproduction. There is artistic freedom within it but it's based on how he looked yeah. like. He's impressive. Yeah. He looks great. <laughs> I'm sure he does jump in. I've got to ask why. Why have you created humanoid Ibn Sina? So I, I was into robots since I was very, very young. Right. Uh, I was an amateur uh, programmer and an electronics guy. And then when I went to university, I ended up doing my PhD at MIT, uh, working on robots and language. And how can you build robots that are able to speak human language, to learn human language, and to connect what they say and what they do with what happens around them, if you right. want. Uh, so when I came to the Emmy, that's one of the main things that I wanted to do was to actually start a flagship uh, humanoid robots project for the region, mm. and I guess that choosing Ibn Sina as a character would yeah. have been one of the best ways to get it to connect uh, with the people, and at the same time to get Sorry. the people and our students to remember that there were times where in the wider region there was quite a lot of uh, scientific uh, development. Yeah. Right. Clearly you have a passion for technology, Doctor. So let's see the robot in action now. Okay. Let, let's <laughs> see what he can say. Okay. So just to explain to us, he reacts to things that you're saying? So actually, the robot has a number of degrees of freedom, around 58 motors, replicating muscles, if you want, in the body. Yeah. He can move his hands, he can do facial expressions, okay. and he has speech recognition and speech synthesis. Let's get the speech recognition okay. first. Good. I'll try and put him off like this. Salam alaikum. Uh, he's shy. Oh, no. So what's he saying? Hello, and hello back to you, if you Wonderful. want. Wonderful, okay. Mahwa yeah. esmak. <laughs> and that's cool. his uh, full name, and it's quite a long name, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he's only Arabic speaking. He does not speak in any other languages. Uh, we currently. did some simple demos that were bilingual with uh, English and Arabic, but it's not actually what we're exhibiting to people in most cases. Hey, look, we could talk for hours uh, with you and he, and we will as well. We've got to take a short break now, but it's great to get a little bit more feedback from him. So in just a few seconds, we'll be back with more from the doc and our robot. Stick with us. Welcome back to the show, and we're still here with Dr. Nicholas Mavridis and his creation, Ibn Sina, the Arabic-speaking robot. So, Doctor, this is clearly a multi-talented uh, uh, character you brought with you. We've seen him speak. What else is he capable of? So actually, the robot can also go through uh, uh, many different facial expressions that mimic, if you want, human emotions. And we're also playing with doing interactions not only on the basis of speech, but also on the basis of having affective interactions. So being able to respond to different emotional states of the human in a different way, also altering his own emotional mm. state, if you want. Let's have a look at a couple of those expressions now, if we can. Um, and whilst those expressions are being shown, also... Hazin, sadness. <laughs> oh dear, what's that? <laughs> the lip curl! <laughs> Is that because I interrupted? <laughs> excited. Respect the robot, Tom. Whoa! <laughs> some very basic hand movements. <laughs> He'd be fun to bring to parties, huh? <laughs> Just quickly, Doc, uh, as Ibn Sina continues. Oh my lord. What, what about the. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Watch out as well, because he's going a bit crazy. What about, the, what about the implications, the applications for this, for the future? So to start with, it's a great educational tool because all of our students, uh, which are actually contributing to it, are having a, a nice platform to apply all their knowledge of AI. Uh, yeah. It's a very challenging project, right? Number two, it's a robot that can be used in a number of uh, real uh, world settings, right? You can have it as a shopping mall robot, uh, also being able to recognize the people that are around him, uh, being able to guide yeah. you around to different things, to show you movies on the screen and so on, or even as a receptionist, uh, as a teaching robot and so on. Dr. Hyphen, Nikolaus Hyphen Mavridis com is the website for all more information on that. Um, and I'm sure in the next couple of weeks, your creation could be presenting Studio One. You're doing a better <laughs> job, that's for sure. Thanks very much for the being with us. The wave of yeah? the future. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's time now to remind you of this week's.